ALS, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, is an extremely debilitating and usually fatal disease. And it's a horrible disease. You have your motor neurons, the neurons that are essentially activating your muscles, telling your muscles when to, when to twitch or when to contract. And that these neurons, these cells that traverse, that go from, the, from your brain all the way to your muscles, so there's these unusually long cells, they, they go through your spinal cord, they degenerate they degenerate and as they degenerate there's no way to for your brain to send the signals to your muscles to do the things that your muscles need to do and so your your muscles atrophy and so that's actually where the first part of ALS comes from the a in ALS amyotrophic a means no or not or kind of the opposite myo means is referring to muscle and trophic is nourishment. So this is one way to think about it is no muscle nourishment. But what's really happening is that the muscles start to die away because they're no longer to be they're, they they can no longer be activated because I guess you could say the the wires are 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 motor neurons that would normally activate them, they degenerate. And what's especially horrible about this, it obviously it causes paralysis, people lose control over basic things including their speech is the whole time that this is happening and this is degenerating, the individual in, in question has, has full uh, mental awareness. So they're fully aware of what's going on in their body. So you could imagine it's a, it's a, it's a fairly uh, a horrible uh, thing for, for, for people to go through. And there have been many famous cases of people with, with ALS, most famously probably Lou Gehrig. In fact, ALS in the US at least is often called Lou Gehrig's disease. One of the most famous baseball players of all time he, uh, for the New York Yankees. He died of ALS really when he was about my age, uh, in, in, his, in his late 30s. Stephen Hawking, he's one of the small percentage of ALS sufferers who have been able to live uh, several decades past his diagnosis. It affects, it affects one to two out of 100,000 individuals each year. So if you were to imagine kind of a large stadium of people, in a given year, you would expect, if, if you say there's roughly 100,000 people here, you would expect one to two of them to uh, get afflicted with ALS. And the reason why it, there's, it's important to have, have research behind this, it's very, a very not so well understood disease. People know what happens. They know that the motor neurons degenerate, but they don't know why it's happening. There is, scientists have identified some genetic component to ALS for some of the sufferers, for, but for the majority, they can't identify a genetic component. And it's unclear what environmental components are causing it, although people think there must be some environmental components. But as far as most people can tell, it just randomly afflicts people uh, once they kind of get into their uh, early middle age. So it's a really, really horrible disease and it's, and it's really important uh, that people have awareness for it and, and that there is an appropriate level of funding. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did take the ice bucket challenge as well. I have been challenged by Sean O'Sullivan to do the ice bucket challenge, so I'm about to do it. Y'all ready? <laughs> <laughs> and I'd now like to issue the challenge to three other people. The other Salman Khan, famous Bollywood actor, Esther Cho, who works with me at Khan Academy, and my kids, who seemed too happy to see myself get doused with cold water.